to another episode of From the Shadows. And as always, guys, if you are enjoying the series, please do drop a like on the video. Now, um, before we get into today's episode, basically, I'm recording this on uh, Monday morning. Obviously, it's going out later today. Basically, um, as you were, oh, as you would have known, um, I've been very unwell the last sort of uh, four or five days, and it's not any better at the moment. And unfortunately, we're not in a situation where we actually know what's wrong currently. So I'm just putting a warning on this video right now that there might not be, uh, you know, if the videos do stop, then you know why, basically, um, because it's getting to a point where it is very difficult to make videos at the moment um, until I can sort of until we can figure out what's wrong and how to fix it. Um, things, you know, it, it's it's a bit, it's worrying, you know, when you're worried about your health and it's you're not really in the best state to be able to do things like this and it, it's very difficult. Um, so just bear that in mind, okay? I hope you understand. Um, yeah, well, there will still be videos today though. Uh, I've done my best to try and get some videos out today, but it's just, it's one of those things you just kind of have to put your health first in these sort of situations. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So if there aren't any more videos, uh, if there's no videos tomorrow or, th or whatever, then just please just bear that in mind that that's the reason why I'm not, you know, I pride myself on consistency and and I would never be doing this if I didn't have to so anyway in the last episode we played against Stab Restoir and we managed to win by two goals to one which was a huge huge result for us it really was albeit winning with the penalty and having come from behind though is a very very solid result for us now obviously to finish off the season was always going to be you know could we manage to latch onto those promotion spots? It looked a little unlikely, and unlikely is kind of the way that it's kind of bared itself out for us, really. Uh, we just weren't good enough in some of these games. We've had some strange results. Uh, well, a little strange, but just a little bit sort of eye-raising, shall we say. Um, so we started off away at Arles Avignon, who, bear in mind, were right down in the league. I can't remember exactly what position they occupied in the league, but it wasn't exactly high up, uh, let's put it that way. And unfortunately, we just weren't quite good enough on the day. Uh, Mamadou Yang gave him the lead just on the stroke of half-time, which kind of was annoying, because... I don't know, and we also got an injury to Jason Boileon a couple of minutes after that, which kind of just set the stall out for the rest of that game. We had to kind of play players out of position then, and things did not exactly go that well. However, in the second half, Johan Mvia, who I think has won Player of the Month this month uh, for his absolutely outstanding performances, did give us an equaliser just before the hour mark, and I would have taken a one or draw, I guess. They aren't the best side, but away from home, we've struggled a little bit, so it would have been nice to get just a simple result for a draw. Uh, unfortunately, with 15 minutes to go, Mamadou Niang gave Arles Avignon uh, the lead again and they were ma they managed to see out the game and beat us 2-1, which is a shame, but sometimes you get results like that. We've been on a good run, so you we were bound to get poor results. You might notice that Milan Barros uh, is a player for Arles Avignon, as is Gail Give, who I believe used to play for Blackburn Rovers. I don't know if that's correct or not. Um, might just be my brain messing up at the moment. So, um... Next up, we had Stad Lavalois, and again, this is one we should be winning for me. Like, we were definitely the better side in this one, and I felt really hard done by that we didn't manage to get the result, and it, it was a shame. Uh, we, they took the lead, which was even worse, through Sebastian Renoard, and we managed to get back into this relatively quickly through Ivan Antelek, who was still banging them in, but he's gone off the boil a little bit this month. He's still getting the odd goal here and there, but I just I just want to see a little bit more out of him. Then again, I, I suppose I said that earlier in the season and he actually did start to pick up. Uh, so I guess I should be happy with the performances that we're getting out of them at the moment. But I, I think we should have really pushed on and we, we didn't manage to do it. I made some substitutions to try and change things up a little bit. It just didn't really quite prevail for us we ended up getting a one-all draw at home they're not a bad team though i mean they were 10th in the league only a couple of places behind us at the time so it's fair to say that they're a reasonably good side in this division so a one-all draw isn't the worst result in the world um finally in our next match we got a win and we'd expect to get a win here because it was at home against struggling ajaccio um however it still was in the balance at times and again a couple more niggly injuries in this one which did not help us in any way um johan and via again gave us the lead on nine minutes and it's good get a lead in front nice and early lots of possession um just dominate them for every facet of this game basically but francesco massoni equalized for ajaccio which was disappointing to say the least and we really did sort of pepper them at times for the rest of the game, controlling everything. They didn't really have any more good chances from that point on. But it took until the 86th minute and a Thomas Gamiette penalty to give us the win. And that's happened a few times this year. He's really saved us with some of his, his penalties, basically. So that's pleasant to have as well. And a good win to at least, you know, just give us that little boost we needed to get further up the league. So a good result there. Next up, though, we went away to struggling Mets. And they were bottom of the league at the time of this game. And it was a, it was a belter of a match, I have to say. Um... I think perhaps a 3 all draw is probably a fair result in some respects. Uh, we kind of struggled with a few things in this one, in the sense that Antelec scored within the first minute and gave us the lead. And I thought, okay, excellent, things are going well for us. Uh, unfortunately, nine minutes into the match, he had to be taken off, injured again. And unfortunately, I believe he is actually going to miss today's match, which is a shame because usually he gets injured all the time and is never actually out for any more than like, well, at all actually, is from what I can remember, which is fantastic. Unfortunately... 
it was going okay as well. You know, winning 1-0, you're fine. 33 minutes, though, Renaud Emond gave them the level that they were looking for, and they kind of, they did, it was pretty much end-to-end -end in this one. Um, <laughs> possession was more towards us, but it was very much end-to-end -end football. There was not a lot of defending going on, as you can tell from both the shooting and the scoreline. Uh, Kwame Yunsor then, two minutes later, gave Mets the lead, and then just after half-time, Juan Falcon, who of course scored the winner against us uh, in the previous match, gave them a 3-1 advantage and I kind of thought at that point that we might be about to lose uh, against a team that are heading potentially even down poor then oh then uh, I brought on Johan and Villa at half time I think yeah it was a half time and he turned the game around for us basically I mean not initially there was the obviously the initial uh going further behind through Juan Falcón, but after that, Mvia just ran that midfield, managed to grab one back for us to make it 3-2 on 54 minutes, and then with four minutes to go, gave us a point, and that was a huge point for us, just because it stopped us from losing a really poor match again, and we don't want too many results like that. It, we're getting a bit bored of those now. Um, and in our final game, we were at home against Trois, and... It was a poor one again. I feel like we were a little bit unlucky in this one. We played very well, as you can see. Had plenty of shots, dominated them on that, and possession, passing was all good. Um, they even had a man sent off after 74 minutes, and eventually, we had a couple of substitutions that we had to be make, making through injury, though. Uh, Didats and Antelek again, um, who... Oh, my, no, my, sorry, apologies. It was this injury that's kept him out for two weeks, not the one in the previous match. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, in the 93rd minute, Henri Bienvenu... Uh, Jesus, 1-0 to, uh, to Troyes, and that was a disappointing result for us, really, because I felt like we should have had more from this game, and we need to stop those kinds of results. Those are the, We need to stop the rot in, time, in games like this. That's where we really are struggling, basically. And that kind of leaves the league looking like this, and you might notice that Mets have jumped out of the relegation zone. They've actually won a few more matches this month, and uh, somehow have dragged themselves, hauled themselves, if anything, out. Um, any one of those bottom... Well, Sosho are already down, which is amazing to say. Uh, the, I can't believe they're actually down. That like, They are... They were a top flight team like two seasons ago. In fact, I think they actually started this save. No, no, they wouldn't have started this save. They would have been just relegated. But uh, Arl Avignon could still go down. Mets, of course. Amiens, who are playing today. And, of course, Ajaccio look pretty much done as well. As for us, the highest we can finish would be 7th. But the lowest is technically 12th. Although that seems a little unlikely. Uh, it's more likely that we're going to finish as low as 10th. Because uh, it is an away game, so it could be tough for us. As you can see, though, Didats has now got the top average rating in the league. He's been slowly climbing that one up lately and uh, playing some good stuff in the process. Let me just have a look at key pass stats. Here. Yeah, look at that, Didats with 109 and Quinta Barrera above that as well. That's fantastic to see. Let's take a look at the squad. Top goal scorer for us is Ivan Antelek with 15, but he will be missing from today's game. Johan and Villa into number two there with nine goals, which is fantastic as well. As for assists, Didat is on nine, and player of the match, we've got Didat on six. Of course, he's very, very good at creating. Probably could do with a few more goals, maybe, but I don't know. I'm liking it. Um, average rating, of course, is Boalion still, but I think that's because of those... I don't know. Um, maybe he's done really well in some cup games. Um, key area of challenges, we've got 130 for Medellin. That is fantastic. Uh, as for key passes, of course, you already saw, but 115 and 111 for Quinta Pereira there. Key tackles, 12 for Masavu King, and interceptions 439 for Loic Puyo. Lovely old job. And did that just come down in value a little bit, but I'm assuming that's because of contracts and stuff. So, let's get into today's game. Uh, apologies, this episode might be a little bit short. I'm I assure you I am feeling horrific right now, um, but I did want to get one episode out today, purely so I could put a statement on it to say that, you know, Please uh, bear with me if there is any sort of gaps, essentially. Um, so, as you can see, Lorient are up, as are Nantes. Uh, it's between Stade Brestois and Troyes uh, to go up in that last spot today. Mets have done well to haul themselves out of trouble, considering they didn't win in their first 17 matches. That That is saying something. Jabali will lead the line for us today. Uh, are we going to switch a few things around in here? Mm, yes. I'm thinking... Yeah, we'll, we'll get Dominic Gape on the bench. Um, that should do it. But, yeah, so let's get into this. Now... We've got options on the bench. With Jorkaev, is there. They're the favourites for this game, and a win for them could see them safe. Mets have got to play against Stade Lavalois. That's going to be a tough one away for them. So a point for... Even a point for Amiens could save them today, uh, providing Mets don't win, basically. We haven't dropped him again. He just doesn't have the... And I don't know who that is. It's the usual questions. I haven't dropped him. I don't know who that is. Um, right, let's go. Let's do a quick this. That's already good. Lovely old job. And we are going to be going in like so... Sorry, the mouse is messing up a little bit as well now. Uh, right, here we go. Let's do this. It's A win would be fantastic, because we've not had that many away wins this season, and they're not a good team. But we've 
Mm, I don't know. I think our chance to beat them was the opening day. Vineyard, ball in, headed away. Oh, Ed Sherger, we can bring this down. It's good to see him getting some game time. He's finally sort of got a bit of a run in the team due to lack of injuries that he's had. Um, Boileon, oh, he's overrun that a little bit, but can he keep the play going? Can we keep it counter-attacking? Pereira, back to Boileon. Can he whip this across? Will Jabali get in there, perhaps? Whipped in, Ed Sherger, and Puyo will mop that up and get it back out to Boileon. Can he whip a ball in again? Can he find a pass? He can. Ed Sherger with the goal. Oh, wow off the crossbar and what a chance that was to open the scoreline here that's uh, a good start for us it's positive we've looked solid i'm just gonna take my glasses off because they're making my eyes go even more funny while on pereira now can he get the ball in this is a good chance for us and it's cleared away again pereira brings it down can he pull it back he can for puyo save pereira and he's offside this time we've started this game incredibly strongly and that is what we need to see more of uh, they've got a goalkeeper called jug um that is i'm enjoying that name hovker ball in Poy it with the header. Oh, Riffs bring it down. Don't let the goalkeeper get out of position here. They're going to knock this back across and put in an easy one, aren't they? Oh, Poy, gone Calvez and cleared. Wow, we've got away with that one here. But Ek we can bring it away for us now. Is there a chance? He has got some pace on him. We've got some. We've got four and one at the bow. Oh, damn it. If he could have found a way to get that ball in the box, we could have had a four and one at the back post there. Uh, possession is absolutely crazy at the moment in favour of us, which is always nice to see. Balion takes it, no, not takes it, doesn't take it short. ex Shergui now. Back to Pereira. Will he have a shot from there? Drops inside for Oban. Can he turn? No. Pereira and over the crossbar this time. The chances are definitely there. We're looking like the better of the two teams in the opening stages of this one, and that's pleasing to see. I'd like to get top eight, really, um, since we're here. Uh, and Mets are actually winning away at Stad Level R, so that gives you an idea. Oh, flicked onto the crossbar this time. My God. Um, we are creating chances. Not many clear-cut chances, it would seem, but which is surprising considering we've had so many damn highlights so far. I'm amazed that we've not done better than that, really. I think we should have a goal by now. Um, we've had some decent chances in this one, and someone needs to put one of these bastards away. Uh, right, let's see. Opposition. Do a few changes around here. We just need to carry on playing like we are, frankly. They've only had one shot on target in the entire ha game so far. We've looked really good. We've not hit the target that much. I think that's mainly because of the woodwork's being clattered a few times, though, and maybe we could avoid doing that. That would be just delightful. Um, Jabali now to bring it away. Can we catch him on the break again? Mm, they've got men back now. And Via might actually get this. The goalkeeper's coming out, and Via's chasing Jug. Um, I don't know why my defender didn't try and get that. Poye. Oh, he didn't went out of play anyway. Uh, we will close him down, yes. Uh, I might make a substitute. I noticed one of our players. Actually, we've got a highlight. No, we don't. Okay. So I was going to make my first substitution because I noticed that Ex-Shergri was looking a little bit worse for wear. I know Didats is as well. Actually, screw it. We're going to get Jorkaev on. I want to see what this lad's capable of. Need to start giving him some first-team football because he looks like a really quality young player and we want to see more of him. Um, hum, 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 hum. Here we go. Oh, crap. We're going to get caught on the break now. Musilu. Oh, Medellin's been done by him. One more line of defence. He's gone round him as well, and he's missed it. Wow. Took both of our centre-backs out of the game, and he's managed to miss the chance there, which is a surprise. Uh, Valencians are beating Ajaccio, um, which is interesting. So it looks like they're heading down. But it does look like Mets are amazingly, despite not winning in their first 17 league matches, are going to stay up. And that is quite some achievement. I mean, seriously, that is an amazing achievement to have not won any of their first 17 games and to stay up. Plus, the, the points required to... Oh, wow, off the post again. The points required to stay up this season is huge, by the way. Look at this. Amiens could go down with 39 points. Oban now clears it. Pereira. Oh, what are you doing, Quinton? Come on, mate. Hmm. Ball flick forward. Just win that. There we go. Oh, and Goncalves is... Right, okay. In interesting. Might just up it to attacking now, since they're down to 10 men. Um... We should close him down. I might make one more sub here and just leave the rest. Um, I might actually throw on Dominic Gape for... No, not for him. Didn't click that. I'll bring him... No, not for him. Didn't click that. Um, for Gamyet. There we go. Uh, yeah, they've only, had, they've only had one shot on target in the entire match. Please don't let them score with their only shot on... Uh, they're, 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 oh, they've actually had another one now. Musilo, and again, it's been missed. Again, it has been missed. Hmm. They're down to 10 men. I'd like to think we could do better here, but it's looking like it could end up being a nil-nil board draw. Well, not board draw, but a draw. Um, uh-oh, uh-oh. That must be offside, surely. Oh, Sigrist has done well there to keep a clean sheet. Um, well, not keep a clean sheet, but keep temporarily a clean sheet. Anyway, Vigneault, ball in. Jean clears. Ah. Oh. Binet. Win that, win that, win that. Go on, there we go. We've got a break on that. Puyo, Jabali's through here. He, oh, he's so slow. He's so slow. Gape. Has he got any support? No, he doesn't. <laughs> Jabali there gets the ball and then is in quicksand, basically. Pereira and Villa. There's a little ball in behind here for Jabali. Perhaps no. Oh, wow. They've caught us out now. Musi Lusser and he's going to score. He's going to score. He's missed it. 
It's gone over the bar. Wow, nobody... They've had five clear-cut chances in this game. That surprises me, actually. I... That is actually really a surprising stat to see them have five clear cuts in this game. But it looks like they're still going down. Jorkaev cleared. Mvia. Can he bring that? Or Gorn? Oh, it's a goal. It's Dominic Gape. 1-0. Oh, my God. Amiens are going to go down. Mets are going down, too. Did Mets... They must have turned it around. Mets look like they're going down. And Ajaccio have turned it around. Mets are going to go down with 40 points um, at the moment. And that... Wow. I mean, they won anyway, but the fact that I thought the game was done, basically. But when Envia brings this down here, Dominic Gabe off the bench, getting the ball here and just goes first time. And it's not the first time he's done that. What a strike that is. Amiens nil. Paris FC won. So where are we now? That puts us into seventh place in the division. That's not bad for your first time in this league. I must say that's a pretty damn solid performance there. Um, considering the amount of clear-cut chances they've created, there, there you go. Amiens nil. Paris FC won. Dominic Gate with the winner. And Amiens are relegated. I don't really think we were the underdogs there, but wow, that's a surprise. And Mets do in fact go down they drew oh they drew three all in the end similar to the result they got against us so there's that what was the score with uh Ajaccio then where are they oh they won 2-1 away at Tra, which is incredible um both they and Stade Brestois must have lost though yeah they did uh, which actually <laughs> means that Stade Brestois go up on virtue of their goal difference basically because they both lost so there you go a win on the final day is nice to see though I think we kind of deserve well did we though they had a lot of good chances um so guys there you go that's our first season in Ligue 2 we've come seventh which is a great result we didn't skirt too close to the relegation I think that if we can sort the finances out a bit next season we can slowly start making a profit and hopefully start to bring in some good quality young players that's going to be the overall plan anyway or certainly what I hope to do um but again I do apologize in advance if there is a slight uh, lack of videos over the next week or so so just because I really do want to sort my health out. So, if you guys like what you've seen, please do drop a like on the video. And if you'd like to even more than that, please subscribe to my channel for more Outcaster icons and from the shadows in your inbox every single day at 5.30 and 8 o'clock. And I will see you guys in the next episode for a transfer window special, hopefully. So I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.